All right, so we are going to learn some basics on how to find mean, median, mode, and standard deviation for a set of data. So go to your browser, in this case, like it's uh, Safari, Firefox, whatever they're calling it these days, and go to Google. And I actually go to my drive. Um, I can't possibly overstate this, how many arguments you can avoid by getting organized and having all your courses named here. This is an introduction to engineering design. So we're in here and um, I actually did not get a chance to label it. I'm gonna label it now, rename. Design and problem solving. I think that's what they called it. And I'm gonna click in there, maybe, cool. And then I'm going to put a new Google Sheet. And I'm sharing this folder. You should, too. That's a story for another time. And this is 1.1.1. So I will label it 1.1.1. Uh, bean, bag, toss, data, titterton, J. Really can't overstate how often people turn stuff into me with no names on it. I have no idea whose it is. So come over here and I'll go tosses and uh, you threw it four feet and six feet and 3.5 feet and four feet, 5.5 and 10 feet, and two feet, five feet, and eight feet and 5.5 feet and four feet and three feet. And it should be 10 data points. Now watch this pretty cool feature. I wanna number my data points so I highlight these boxes, and there's this little blue piece here. If I grab it and drag it, it'll continue the pattern. I went a little bit too far. That's fine. I'm just going to go with that. And don't ask me why, but for some very bizarre reason, I like to have center. Oh, that, that's, that's much better. So down here we want... Uh, let's go with uh, mean. And the mean means average. So it even gives me a choice, but I'm not going to take it. I'm going to type in average. And I'm going to open parentheses, and then I'm going to tell it of all of these. And automatically puts them in and hit enter. So it says the average toss is five. And I really should put units here. So let's go with feet. And down here, it bothers me, there's all these decimal places. So we have these little keys up here uh, underneath data press the left and they vanish. I'll go to two just because I don't want it to look like it's five, whatever. So let's go with the median and I go equals median and it gives me a choice. And then I say of all of these, it says 4.5 is the median. That means if I line these data up from small to big, crossed off the ends until I got to a middle, the middle is 4.5. I'm guessing it was between 4 and 5, and it took the average because I have an even number. Uh, that's it. Whatever. Now let's do uh, mode. Mode's the most common one. Again, I'm going to say the mode. I'll pick that mode, and I'll say from here to here. And it says four is the most common one. I have a four and a four and a four. There's three fours. That makes sense. And then standard deviation. So this is actually how far out the data is. And we're doing a sample. Uh, that's not what I wanted. So for whatever reason they have VA, it's a sample. Since we're not doing the actual number of throws, which would be an infinite number of throws, we go with the sample. And it says the data is pretty tight. So one decimal place, and I am gonna go with one decimal place here. And if you'd like to see just how tight the data is, you can do what's called a histogram. We insert a chart. And it throws up this chart, and I move it over here so I can see my data and everything at the same time. I don't want a line chart. I want a histogram. It should be somewhere at the bottom. Here it is. Histogram. 
and it shows it's kind of front skewed. Um, the mean was 5.0, so the mean is right here. You can see down here. And it kind of spreads out two both ways. Uh, 5.0 plus 2 is 7, so and 3. So most of the data is in there. You can actually change the bucket size, customize, histogram, auto. I'm going to make the bucket size 2. And now you get a better look at just how much the bucket size is, how big the gaps are how much of them fall between four and six. You can see that's very centralized data with a fairly small standard deviation. So done with that. So this is what I'd like to see in your report. Uh, let's get this a little spread out so we can see what's going on. Whoops, wrong way. There you go. That looks good. I would snip that and put it in my report. That's it. Good luck.